So hey there fellow chemists out there, I hope you're doing okay and today we're going to talk about the reactivity of metals and their activity series and we're going to talk about some tricks on how to memorize the reactivity series. I know I've been struggling with this in my high school years and I didn't know how to memorize them. Like there were a lot of um, elements and it was confusing but I'm going to be telling you a trick on how to memorize the reactivity series and hopefully by the end of this video you'll become experts in reactivity series okay so let's get started now let's talk about the reactivity of metals well not all metals are at the same reactivity level while well, some metals are more reactive than others well for example, the metals we use in the kitchen, like aluminum for example, aluminum is considered a reactive metal, but thanks for the uh, oxide layer that covers aluminum, so aluminum has an oxide layer that prevents it from reacting with the air, okay? So therefore, it's safer for us to use in our cooking pots and stuff like that, and um, the unreactive metals, we usually use them for domestic uses. So the unreactive metals, we use them for domestic uses. Okay. Now, what about the, the more reactive metals? Like, for example, sodium. Sodium is very, very active. And in the lab, we keep it under hot oil in order to prevent it from reacting with the air and uh, sodium therefore is very reactive so sodium is very reactive and it needs to be kept under hot oil okay now there is a series that has been invented Okay, the, the chemists have come up with it in order to put the elements in the periodic table in order of their activity. So my teacher taught me this when I was in high school and it clarified everything for me and it was very easy to memorize. I hope it's the same for you guys. So let's see what the trick is and how to memorize their activity series. Well, it's going to be kind of weird, but bear with me, guys. Okay. So it starts like this. Ka na li ka megal zen fi pb cu ag. So ka na li ka megal zen fi pb cu ag. This is how the short way to memorize the reactivity series. I know it's like alien language, but I still remember it because it was weird. I still remember it. So I hope this will will make it easier on you guys to memorize their activity series and now let's take a look at this now the first metal right here is potassium okay and potassium is the most reactive okay and the last metal right here is silver silver is the least reactive that's why we use silver in accessories and all that like your bracelets, your earrings, you find silver in them, okay? Because they're nearly not very reactive and we can use. Also, gold is not very reactive, that's why we use gold in jewelry. So, also, one thing to mention about the activity series is that any metal, for example, sodium here, can displace magnesium in its solution because sodium is more reactive than magnesium. Also, what can be said is that here sodium acts as an oxidizing agent. And what oxidizing agents do is that they oxidize the chemical or the compound they are in contact with. For example, here sodium will oxidize will act as an oxidizing agent, therefore magnesium will become magnesium oxide, it will gain oxygen, okay? And the opposite happens. Here magnesium will act as a reducing agent, therefore sodium will be reduced. 
So in the next video, we're going to talk about this in more details, how the metals act uh, as reducing and oxidizing agents and more about displacement reactions. So stay tuned and we're going to talk more about this in detail. So stay tuned, guys, and thanks for watching.